up here entering Proffery Gulch. I'm just hearing the elk call as they migrate across this slope below that cliff band. And the bigger scene is just as spectacular. Look at this. Wow. And lo and behold, there's our objective for today. our road going up into the basin proper and man oh man I just can't believe how awesome this place is all right here we are at the trailhead the four-wheel drive trailhead for Proffery Basin and King Bouillon Lake beautiful place old mining ruins in the background there so this is where the true adventure zone begins although I will say even that road being a shelf road and pretty steep, had its share of excitement. Much more to come. We'll see you up there. All right, just ran into a bunch of friends in the parking lot here at the base of Proffery Gulch. So we're all gonna hike up, check out Three Needles, King Bullion Lake, beautiful waterfalls, all kinds of great stuff. And then we'll head up to the Three Needles. So three needles, here we come. Powering it up. close to the notch and hasn't been that bad. Well, we've kind of gotten into the final shit screen, but we're also done. Swim for it! Ah. Yeah, nice work, Nick. Wow. Epic. And then as I recall, this little chimney is where we scamper up, I hope.
this show. Another really short class four section. Nick is eating it up. Well, we have meandered up the back side here of Three Needles, and I feel like the summit is right here. Nick is just shredding right up. So, Carl Decker would like to present yet another summit, one I've presented in the past, to be honest, and that is Three Needles Peak. And this is the coolest summit. I love it here. Beautiful lakes, towers, surrounded by lakes. Met some awesome new friends at the trailhead and even brought one of them to the top. And now it's time to have a little aerial exploration of just how cool this place is. We are heading back down, Nick and I. Thought I'd just show him a couple of the sites because walking this ridge is unbelievable and pretty dangerous if you step on some new rock. <laughs> That's drop. So, as you can see, the vistas down to Blue Lake behind us, as well as the drop off off the face, are spectacular. All right. Definitely a pretty pleasant descent here. Nick just had a big cool slide. Worked out great for him. So yeah, we'll be down in this thing in 10 minutes. So a successful summit of Three Needles. I'm just leaving Three Needles and heading on over to Brattlevale Peak, or formerly V11, I believe. Sad to see you, Nico. He is a great guy. I have a feeling we'll be seeing him again. This little area here is also just beautiful. See how this got here. I would assume miners, but this is a perfect trail. And some tough towels.
was sitting up here, Columbine Lake just coming into view, and I noticed this crazy stone structure. The whole scene is wow. I had to swim my way up the last of that, but now it's getting better again. Give you a little look. We are at the saddle now. So there's three needles, upper right hand corner, Blue Lake, and then Mount Snaffles just looks glorious right now. That's for sure. And then we've just got this last little path scrambling out in here. Two thirds of the way up the ridge now. Maybe more. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. I've only got that much to go. So we're just about done. So Carl Decker would like to present another summit, Bridal Veil Peak. Wow. Wow. Another huge bank for the pocket. That's for sure. That's Lewis Lake. Lewis Mine is below us. Made a really awesome video, Columbine Lake, Lewis Mine. Definitely encourage you to check that out. You can see the whole area. And I climbed that ridge in the middle. And then, as you've already seen, here's Blue Lake on this side. How beautiful. And that stunning row of towers is all in a line straight down there. So, incredible. Really, really awesome. just cruising down the standard approach for Bridal Peak and it is a friendly class one hike. Great respite from going up the North Ridge, which was pretty gnarly. It was stout class three, I would say, loose sections. Um, great fun, cool little shortcut, but uh, I, I didn't feel like going back down that again, especially with all the loose. So this has been awesome and I am just about to lose sight of Columbine Lake ahead, and then off to the right is Lewis Lake again. But this trail is great, so even if you just want the spectacular views, you can do so quite safely on slightly loose Class 1 trails. Bridal Peak, another one that really delivers whether you want excitement or just the views. Wowzers. I guess that's why they built it here, huh? Thank you. 
Uh, I'm gonna have to say, this may have been even more impressive from a distance. <laughs> Crazy dog. Time to wrap up this little double adventure. Three needles first, really awesome. If you've got a four wheel drive, incredibly easy to get to King Bouillon Lake, which in its own right is very special, loaded with fish too. And then uh, up the needles was really fast and not a problem till the very end. Then it is treacherous and super loose. Definitely one really dangerous spot where we had to traverse loose over a cliff band. I was concerned about that and really pushed for descending another way with Nick because I didn't want to expose us to that again. So we did go the other way and it was safer. Um, you know, the descent closer to the summit actually, although it was complicated by snow. So that's three needles. Once we got back down into that basin, I departed from Nick, headed around the corner here, two corners in fact, to Bridal Peak. And that was awesome. I thought it was gonna be kind of a long trudge, pain in the ass, and it wasn't. It was fairly quick. Just doing Bridal Peak, even from King Bullion, would not be bad at all. A really beautiful hike, crazy well marked, Karen's all over the place. And I had no idea there was even a trail here. I just said, you know what? I think I can put that together. So I did. And man, it was fantastic. And yeah, there's a nice trail that I'm on right now. It's kind of faint, but Karen's all over the place. So, and that could just be an easy class one walk up with a little loose talus for extremely beautiful views. So you really got your choice when you come up here. Both were massive bank for the buck. I'd say actually bridal more bank for the buck, but you, as much as you had to pay a little more for three needles, boy, that bang was huge. Um, so that's why I came back for this one again. I wanted to see it with all the flowers and the waterfalls and lakes flowing and I'm glad I did. This place is magic. So that's my story. I hope you guys enjoyed the trip. Some of these more unconventional adventures have for me been vastly more rewarding and exciting than, uh, than more of the trade routes. And that's personal preference, but that's, that's what I prefer. So anyway, we will catch you on the next one. I hope you enjoyed. And it was definitely great for me. Hopefully it was good for you. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.